Hey guys, welcome to Ready, Set, Tech. I am James. So today I wanted to talk about something I mentioned in one of my earlier videos. I talked about being an avid iPhone user and every time I tried an Android phone, I always found myself coming back to the iPhone. No matter how many I tried and how many I liked, just always come back to the iPhone. So lately that really hasn't been the case for me. I've actually been using my Note 5 more than I've been using my iPhone lately. I haven't really found myself missing the iOS ecosystem as much as I thought it was. A lot of things I really loved about the iPhone are just becoming standard in a lot of the higher end Android phones like the Note 5. So we have things like the fingerprint sensor, really great cameras on both platforms. Android has done a really good job of toning down its really heavy interface. I really wanna thank companies like Samsung for ditching that old plastic build and having more premium looking devices with the metal construction. We also have mobile payment options. So Apple came out with Apple Pay and Android came out with things like Android Pay, Samsung Pay, and LG is even coming out with their own payment system. So at this point, it's really safe to say that Apple and Android aren't even playing fields and it really comes down to brand loyalty and whichever operating system you prefer. The truth is there is no such thing as a perfect smartphone. It's all about personal preference and finding a phone that works for you, whether it be an Android or an iPhone. So please let me know in the comments which device you're using now. Is it an Android or is it an Apple iPhone? So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.